So first of all, I'm going to take you through the Archives Direct platform itself. So as you can see here, uh, this platform isn't just for the Apartheid South Africa collection. It actually houses 10 different collections, all sourced from the National Archives. Now these collections are all uh, British government files from different series. I'll just show you here each of the 10 collections. So we can see here there's a wealth of political history, uh, material, primary source material, uh, covering you know, vast areas of the globe, covering South Africa. Um, the Confidential Print series this covers, as you can see here, four different areas. We also have foreign office files for China, India, Pakistan and Afghanistan. And then uh, Mac Macmillan cabinet papers and British government files um, around Nixon's um, era in the White House. One thing I want to express to you uh, before we get into some of the key documents is that the apartheid, I'm just going to go into the collection homepage here. And I'm just going to take you to the introductory page so we can learn a little bit more about the origins and the sort of setup for this particular collection. So apartheid South Africa, as I said right at the start, uh, is coming out in three different releases. Today we're just going to be focusing on the 1948 to 1966 era. So this is currently available now, as well as the second part, which covers 67 to 75. And part three uh, will be coming in March 2015, which covers the later years. So if you want to find out a little bit more about the types of material within this collection or the runs uh, of the National Archives, um, you can find it here on the introduction page. Okay, right, let's just let's run through a few key documents just to give you a sort of flavour for what Apartheid South Africa Part 1 is about. So I'll head back to the home page for Archives Direct. So you can see here we've got a basic search portal and an advanced, we've got an advanced search page as well, which is really going to help you hone down the material, get to the get to what you're looking for quickly. So let's have a look for something, a document I found which I think it's pretty interesting. So we're going to use one of the filters here to refine by Apartheid South Africa. Bear in mind this advanced um, search page covers the whole of the Archives Direct platform. So supply, search, see what we get back. That's quite a refined search, yep, so it's not going to re return masses of data, which uh, is probably a good thing. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention, if you, if you if you have any questions at all, or you want, need anything clarifying or anything I didn't make clear, there's a chat function that you can use. So please feel free to put any questions in there, and we can answer all those at the end collectively rather than doing it throughout the webinar. Alternatively, we'll be sending out the recording tomorrow with an email address, and if you think of any questions then, please don't hesitate to get in contact with us. Okay, so here you can see the document details page and we can see our hits listed for where our search result appears. I'm just going to show you one. Okay, so this is um, some Senate minutes on um, the Mixed Marriage Act which is a, is a key piece of legislation in the start of um, sort of modern apartheid history in South Africa. Uh, so, you know, some people say that it's one of the pieces of legislation that led to a, a formal government apartheid policy in South Africa. Uh, one thing in terms of functionality I want to show you is you can see here that part what our, our search results are actually highlighted, and that's because all of the material in Archives Direct is full text searchable. And I'll just show you some of the zooming here. We, we pride ourselves on the quality of our scans to make them as accessible for students and researchers. Okay, let's show you another document. So we're going to head back to the home page. Now let's have a look at the collection home page. So we're going to click View Collection. And you can see here on each collection home page there's a dedicated search bar just for that collection. So let's have a look for some information about Nelson Mandela's Ravonia trial in 1962. So I'm going to show you this and maybe one more document 
and we're going to run through some of the more interactive features that Archives Direct has as well. Okay, so let's scroll down. Okay, let's have a look at this one. So I mentioned earlier that all of the material is full text searchable. Uh, one thing we also do is we have a dedicated in-house editorial team that go through the material very meticulously um, and all of our documents are really thoroughly indexed. So we can see here the place, people and topic indexes. Um, I will sh I'll show you a bit later, that's a great way to access material as well and for researchers to carry on their research beyond the current document. So that's something we really pride ourselves on here at Adam Matthew. Okay, let's, let's actually click through to Nelson Mandela, see what we can get. Okay, here. So we can see some newspaper clippings that have actually come from part of a, a diplomat's uh, debrief report back to the Foreign Office in London. And so there's a lot of these, a lot of diplomatic letters, a lot of letters from the High Commission, um, from from London back to Pretoria and so forth, which you know I think is a vi is a really um, important resource for scholars of political history and of South Africa in general. Okay, I'm just going to show you one more way um, into the into the material that you can use. So we can see. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see some more of the scans. So when we, the high quality scans will allow you to read some of the notes and jottings from the civil servants on some of these government files as well. So let's head to my archive. Let's head back to the home page first and we'll, we'll start from the beginning again. So my archive is a personal repository for the Archives Direct platform. So if you if if you're a researcher or a teacher in the classroom and you want to bookmark a lot of documents or particular um, pages for future use, you can use this to basically house all those together and keep them for a later date. So here's some that I've been researching with in the past and some things that I think are worth keeping an eye on. Okay, so we'll click through from there back to the document details page. Again, we can see some bit of description about the document and some some uh, indexing here as well. Let's have a look, let's click through one of the indexes again. Okay, and by clicking through uh, the hyperlink names in the index, that will search the entire document for instances of that name. So here I've searched for Harold Macmillan within that document. And here we can see a letter from the Commonwealth. Actually, I think it's the start of a report from the Commonwealth Relations Office. And it's basically debriefing about Harold Macmillan's visit uh, to South Africa, uh, which is the sort of famous trip where he gives his winds of change speech. It's sort of an iconic landmark in Britain's relationship with South Africa and, and to be honest, the, the colonial Africa as a whole. And we can see again the highlighting show the full text searchability as well. Okay, so just to sort of go through the top bar here, um, we can see there's a few different buttons and options. Um, you can We can view the original image here, but there's also, a, if you want to quickly scan through different pages rather than just going one by one, there is a thumbnail viewer which will allow you to get to particular pages quickly or, you know, if you don't want to read all the sort of notes and jotting, you can maybe access some of the printed material a little bit quicker. Let's go back to the original image. Okay, and here we've got buttons to flick between pages. We can go to a particular page that we want to. We can search the document for maybe another term to carry on our research to a, uh, another point. Here we can see the previous and next hit buttons. So what that, that's going to do is cycle through um, each of the each of your search terms and every time it appears in the document. This is similar to my archive except this is an individual page repository. 
So if you're a teacher or you're giving a presentation to a class uh, about your paper, if you're a student, you can use this to save particular pages to your personal repository. Or if you want to do it outside the platform, there is a download option. I oh, probably shouldn't have clicked that. So you can download any of the pages to PDF. I will just show you another way of downloading as well, which is back at the document details page. So as well as downloading individual pages, uh, you can download an image range as well. So if you find a particular sort of report or a particular group of documents that you think have value to you, feel free to download those using the download image range. And there's also a citation and export tool as well, which I'm sure will help students with their papers. Well, we hope so anyway. Okay. So, as I said um, at the start, if you have any questions about the documents I've showed you or any of the functionality to do with the documents list, uh, please let me know. So I'm just going to show you some of the... Let's head back to the home page. So now I'm just going to show you some of the interactive tools and features that we have on the Archives Direct platform. Uh, so these are available for Apartheid South Africa as well as all your Archives Direct material. It's something that comes with the platform. So I'm just going to show you this interactive world map. This is just a really nice way for uh, teachers or lecturers um, or even, even researchers who were maybe starting out on a topic uh, just to get into the uh, material in a bit more of a visual way. So let's stick with the theme of South Africa. So we can either use the list up here. So let's click Botswana. We can we can use the map itself, so we can click South Africa, Namibia, and we can search the collection that way as well. So we can see here a result results list, and we can see that it's a list of documents refined by Botswana, South Africa, Namibia. Okay, just to I mean, this is the sta our standard document results page, just to sort of give you a bit of clarity around that. Um, once you, once you have your search results, you can browse by individual uh, collections within Archives Direct, or the region, or the department of office that the material you're looking for comes from. Okay, let's head back to the home page. Next, I'm going to show you the interactive chronology. So this is just a nice context tool Maybe for research, yeah, as I said with the interactive world map, for researchers who might be starting out, might need to get a bit of context around certain events. We've just used this as a nice separate window tool. Um, so you can see here you can refine by collection on the side. Or you can use the scroller across the top to change the time period. So let's make it a little more contemporary. Okay. So we can see here sort of events throughout the years, year even. Okay. Okay, um, so that's the material in itself. Uh, just a reminder, I'll just head back to this introductory page for the Apartheid South Africa. So just a reminder that this, um, what I've been showing you today is just the first part. It's just a tip of the iceberg for the whole of the Apartheid South Africa collection. So what I've shown you is just the 1948-1966 era. We will be doing later webinars for part two and part three, so please do tune in for those. I'm just going to show you now the Adam Matthew Collections page. So to access here, this is just a list of all of our resources and collections. So just to give remind you of the URL, it's amdigital.co.uk, and you just have to hit the collection button here. So please feel free to explore here. Um, the reason I've brought you here is I want to just show you, if you are interested or your institution or library is in interested in a free trial, please feel free to access um, this page. If you click through to Apartheid South Africa. Now here you can find out a little more um, just about the collection, um, some quotes, some detailed information. Uh, and you can also request a free trial here as well. So please feel free to do that.
Okay, so just a reminder again, just to round off, this, this webinar is being recorded, so you'll all have that in your inbox. Please feel free to request a free trial, and if you have any questions at all, please either respond to the email you'll get, or you, you can ask them on the chat now. Okay, no questions as of yet. Okay, just a final note. If you're wondering, you know, how do I, how do I access this right now? Okay, well, if you already have access, you can use the Archives Direct, direct URL, which is archivesdirect.amdigital.co.uk, or you can access through one of many discovery services, or you can access through your library catalog. And if you're unsure about how to do that, please just ask your librarian or your subject liaison at the library, and I'm sure they can help you out. So that has been Apartheid South Africa Part 1. But yeah, that's it. Um, that, as Just a reminder, that was covering 1948, 1966. But just need to say thank you very much to everyone who attended. Um, and I uh, hope you have a great day.